everyone, I'm your chemistry teacher, Mrs. C. Williams Massey, and uh, today we will be looking at the separation technique, evaporation. So in this glass beaker, we have some commercial grade table salt. We just simply went to the supermarket and bought some. And we're going to dissolve this table salt now using tap water. To ensure that my solution is properly mixed, I'm going to use a glass rod to dissolve the table salt. I did pour out a lot of the table salt in the small beaker, so it's taking a while to dissolve. So we'll add some more water to dissolve the table salt. So at the bottom, I can see that I no longer have crystals there. So I can see I no longer have crystals there. So I know that my table salt has dissolved. And all those small bubbles that were in the solution, they're dispersing right now. Because we want to recover the solute, which was a table salt from the solution, we're going to use the technique of evaporation. To carry out evaporation, we need a Bunsen burner. So please watch the video on how to properly use a Bunsen burner that I've uploaded for you. And that we have an evaporating dish. This is also called an evaporating basin. And we have a tripod stand. So we have three legs, hence a tripod stand. And we have a wire gauze. So we're going to set up the apparatus, but before we do that, we need to light the Bunsen burner. <laughs> or we can actually just simply pour this in the evaporating basin right now. And then we light the Bunsen burner. So safety first, I do not want my head to catch on fire, so I need to catch it up. All right, so I need to remove all this here. So it doesn't hang in the flame. We have to ensure that the air hole is closed and then we light the Bunsen burner. After we lit the Bunsen burner, we open the air hole and we're going to put, whoops, now let that be you, the tripod over the Bunsen burner. We're going to turn up the flame just a small bit more and then Put our evaporating basin on the wire gas. So this will take quite a well for all this solvent, which is the tap water that we use to evaporate and leave the salt behind. So we're just going to take a short break and then when it's almost finished, we'll continue videoing. So what you have happening now is actually spattering. So we've evaporated so much of the solvent, the water, that the concentrated solution left is purely sodium chloride. So you're literally having the sodium chloride particles now jumping out of the evaporating dish or the evaporating basin. So if you can see the paper all around, you'll actually see the crystals on the paper. And that's called spattering, all right? So let us just do another close up and see what's going on. And remember, you use this technique when you want to recover the soluble solute. So the table salt did dissolve in the water. We did not want to recover the water, we wanted to recover the table salt from it. So we've evaporated the water and now we've recovered our salt. So I'm going to turn it off and just allow it to cool. And we're going to compare the salt particles that are in this evaporating dish to the ones now in the actual package packaging for the table salt. We're going to look at why is it that we don't have crystals in this evaporating dish right now. However, 
in the supermarket grade, the commercial grade table salt, we do have free salts there. So we're going to take a short break and then come right back. All right, students, so in the evaporating dish, we now have the table salt and that's quite caked together. It's very soft right now. Still a bit moist because it needs to dry down a little bit more. However, these are powder like in consistency. They're not crystals like what you actually have in the bag. Why? Because we did not go through the process of crystallization. We used evaporation to get rid of the solvent. So in order to form those crystals that you see in the bag when you purchase the salt from the supermarket, we'd have to use the process of crystallization, which actually allows the solvent to evaporate at a much slower rate. So that is why the consistency of the sodium chloride in the evaporating basin right now is not the same as how it started out. So that's the chemistry behind it. Thank you so much for staying with us. And again, remember to like and subscribe. Bye.